we've got the new limited time Taco Bell items. And we're gonna taste test, review, do all that stuff. So I, I think I might just take them out and reveal one at a time. So these are the like loaded steak verde fries. Hopefully that's an okay view. <clears throat> so this is their nacho fries that they kind of bring back and then get rid of and then bring back again. It's got the three cheese blend steak guacamole I believe it's got the tortilla crisps on the top sour cream and also a um, like spicy verde sauce and of course we're pairing with a Baja Blast uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get a nice sample of this this guy right here There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of different flavors, and it's kind of hard to distinguish. It all kind of like blurs together, if you know what I'm saying. The, the verde sauce on it, it's not like a normal tomatillo and uh, porblano verde. It's got, it's got a kick to it. It's a very spicy verde. It's honestly a little too spicy in my opinion. Because most Verdes I've had and that I've enjoyed have been on the milder side. And the flavor of it is more what you appreciate than pure spiciness. I'm getting a nice little crunch from the tortilla strips, but honestly, the flavor is kind of dominated by that sauce. And this eats as just a kind of burning, overly spicy dish. And it doesn't have a ton of flavor. The flavor is kind of covered up by the spiciness of the sauce. They, they definitely made the sauce too spicy, in my opinion. So overall, I'm gonna give this maybe like a four. It's not terrible, but it doesn't really, ha it's, it's not really offering much at all. <clears throat> so this is the, uh, move this out of the way. So this is gonna be the Verde Nacho Fries Burrito. And this is just regular, I think it's got black beans instead of the steak. I believe. You can get the fries with steak or I guess regular is just with black beans. And then you can also get the burrito either with steak or with the beans. So I just got one of each for the purposes of this video. Mm. Okay. <sighs> Immediately, off gate, that eats better than the fries, than the previous dish. I'm getting a nice flavor of those black beans. A little bit of the kick from the sauce, but not too much yet. Mmm. Yeah, I, I had one of these like a week or so ago, and I remember saying that it was solid, but I think it would be better without the fries in it because they just kind of add 
a starchiness and it's kind of like dry and absorbs the flavor of the things around it and you just kind of get a bland starchy taste I feel like I like the flavors that are going on in this but I feel like it would be better without the fries in it I feel like they're unnecessary and it makes it taste like overly heavy and crowded and I'm just not really feeling that aspect But other than that, I think this has pretty much everything that was on the loaded fries. It's got the black beans, I believe guacamole and sour cream both. I think the tortilla strips as well. And then of course those fries in there and then cheese, like three cheese blend. And honest, honestly, this is like a little overly busy. I feel like simple is usually better. Simple and appreciate the flavors and flavors that like work well and pair well together. I feel like a straight shot is usually better. It's easy for a dish to get overcrowded and have too much going on and for for the flavor to kind of get lost in that. And I feel like that's kind of what's going on with this for me. But I do, I like I said, I feel like it would be like up there without the fries, but I feel like the fries specifically are overcrowding it and like taking away from the rest of the flavors for sure. I would say if you got this without the fries, I would give it maybe like as high as an eight. But with them, I'm giving this like a five. It's just absolute mid tier. Nothing really special or great, but nothing too offensive either. I feel like this is a little bit of a fatter burrito compared to, you know, beefy five layer or a regular bean burrito. So I might order this like on occasion, rare occasions, if it was a regular menu item, but definitely not something that I would get very often at all. It's good enough though that when hungry, I think I'm definitely gonna go ahead and finish this, so. I guess that tells you something. And the Verde sauce on this is not near as overwhelming as it was on the, uh, on the loaded fries. It's not completely taking over the flavor and um it's a, it's actually adding a nice little pop of heat to the rest of the flavors it's a lot a lot more well balanced in this than it was on the loaded fries <clears throat> okay so moving moving right along We've got the Inchirito. Hopefully that's a decent view for you there. This is basically just a burrito with beef, refried beans, I believe they're three cheese blend and onions. And then it's just smothered in their red sauce and enchilada like sauce and then it's got you know some extra cheese kind of melted sprinkled on there so let's let's jump right into this i hope that that's not getting too in the way Mm. I really love their red sauce. It's hard for me to like describe the flavor of it. It's it's very much like an enchilada sauce, but I feel like it's got like kind of a distinct flavor different than your average 
canned enchilada sauce you might buy at the store. And I've been trying to figure out recently if the red sauce that they put on this in the bean burrito, if it's the same as their mild sauce in the packets, or if it's like a different blend. I'm still unsure about that. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate that because I've been like wondering about that for a while now. And I could probably just look it up um, and maybe I will after this. But it's, I think it's different. I think the mi the milder has a little bit more, the mild sauce packets have a little bit more of a spice and it's not a spicy spice. It's like milder but I, I feel like it's more like seasoned and it's got more like seasonings and probably like garlic powder or onion powder oh, excuse me i feel like the mild sauce packets ha are are more aggressively seasoned and i feel like the red sauce that they put on the actual menu items um it's got a definite uh the air just came on um all right i think i'm gonna pause until it turns off Okay, so what I was saying was that I think the mild sauce is more aggressively seasoned. It has more spices and seasoning and that type of stuff. And the red sauce that they actually put on the items, it doesn't have as much of that seasoning, but it's got more of the kind of pure red sauce, enchilada sauce flavor. Whatever flavor that is. It's I think it might be some sort of like mild pepper or something that they use in it. I'm not sure. But I like it. I like the red sauce a lot. And recently, I've been having like cravings for their red sauce. And so I've been getting the bean burritos a good bit. But a lot of times they don't quite put that much on it. So I feel like this is like the perfect option to meet my cravings. <clears throat> Just a nice burrito smothered in the red sauce. I actually got this as well like a week or so ago and they were really like light on the sauce they didn't put near enough but this one definitely has more um maybe if you're a real red sauce fan as well consider adding extra if you're into like modifying your items which i usually don't do at all i just feel like weird doing that but um yeah just just you know just some something to consider something to consider But that kind of distinct red sauce flavor blending with the kind of tanginess of the onions and then the fatty richness of the beef and the beans. This is like, you know, it's simpler. There's not as many items composing this dish compared to the other things that I just sampled. <clears throat> but the flavors of what's in this mix and meld together very well. And it works, you know, the flavors in it match well and it works and I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this for sure. I would, uh, I would put this up there. I might give this a solid like eight, 8.5 or so. It's not going to be as good though if, um, the workers don't care and they don't give you enough red sauce on it. It really needs to be like smothered in it. I feel like that's what really makes it good. But this is this is dank. This is the type of stuff that I'm into when it comes to Taco Bell. And kind of burrito based cuisine in general. So there's that, there's my review of the new limited time items from Taco Bell. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like um, and also subscribe to my channel for more food related content and other type of stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope everybody enjoys whatever they're eating next. Peace out.